Hey, Andy here. It's been a while since I've gone over the how to air gap all of the rancher stack and the timing could never be more perfect. Uh, rancher government just came out with a tool called Hauler. Hauler really is, as, as they call it, the Swiss Army knife for air, air gapping. And really, um, it's very programmatic about being, uh, what it collects, how it collects, it, and then how it serves it. So I figured, great time to update the blog, update my little air gap all the things script, kind of go over it right now for you. Uh, first off, let's take a look at the hauler docs. Um, by the way, the, all these links will be in the show notes. But if we go to the hauler docs, we can view the docs. We can go look at the quick start. So installing haulers as simple as a curl pipe bash. We have some new command line information um, in terms of hauler store at image, at image, at image, at image, or at file, at chart. Again, it's a really good tool for collecting all these things where in the past I did it all manually and it got a little clunky. This is the right way to do it now. Um, but then you basically have a hauler store and then you save it to a ZST file. It's just a better compressed tarball. Move that across your network. You load it into a hauler binary and then you can serve registry and file server out and then you'll be able to use that to offload. So. What I've done is I've taken that and went nuts, uh, for lack of a better term. So with this setup, uh, again, we're going to use four nodes. One has access to the internet, but in case of this video, I'm going to make the, the error one node, that first control plane node. That's going to be the one that, that does the download, um, just to simplify things. I am running this all on Harvester, by the way. There are my three VMs with plenty of storage each. Uh, we do recommend four core, eight gigs of RAM with 80 gig drive. These are running two by four right now, just because uh, the mini PC I'm running them on the NUC is, isn't as big as I'd like it to be. But quite simply, all we need to do is to get make a directory, get the script, and start executing and run build. So what I'm going to do now is I'm already SSH'd into one, two, and three. Whoop, two and three. Let's go back to one, and let's go ahead and make the directory and start downloading the file. Okay, so this script will check to make sure you have hauler Z ZSTD. I even spelled that wrong. I'll have to fix that. JQ and Helm. These are some of the tools we need. It'll actually install it if it doesn't find it. So I've really tried to work on making the uh, script uh, a lot more error correcting. Hey, I need this. Hey, I need this. Hey, I need this. Um, just to kind of really kind of streamline the, the user interaction. So what it's doing right now, I'm going to pause it in a second, but what it's doing is it's actually created a manifest of all the images, charts, and files you need, like Helm, Holler itself. Uh, our, we're going to an RPM install now, slightly different. Uh, and then it'll actually sync it. So it'll sync it all the way down. And then when we do a save, it writes it to that file. And then I can press it again with a few other bits around it. So let me go ahead and pause it now real quick. And we'll come back in a minute uh, through the magic of time, uh, time travel. And we'll... Um, pick back up when this ends and we're back and you can see now that it is completely done so we have here on the first node let's go ahead and take a look at this we have our hauler directory that's where we pulled the script down it, we have a haul.tar.zst so that's the actual manifest of what got pulled down there is uh, the hauler binary and we need that actually when we move it over but the way the script actually uh, finishes up is it creates uh, in opt and I'll show you in opt. Um, it creates the hauler air gapped with the date code. That's what you need to move across to the other network. So let's assume we did that, right? We did that and we untarred it into the opt hauler directory, which we're in. And so now what we need to do is just go ahead and do a hauler. In fact, I'll show you this in the docs. Um, this is what it looks like when it goes and does the save and tar uh, and sync. I'm uh, sorry sync, save, and tar. Now we need to deploy the control node. So with this, assuming this is the first uh, node, you'd have to install the ZSTD binary, CD into the, that, into the opt hauler directory, and untar the hauler, um, untar the hauler air gap file. Once there, right, all we have to do is run hauler all the things sh control. I'll go ahead and paste that in. Okay, what this is doing is it's actually setting up hauler in the background. So it's taking that store, it's loading it into a directory and then serving it out as a registry and a file server. So this is a great opportunity to flip over to the RPM install as well as use Helm OCI artifacts for those charts. So it means we don't have to install anything on the worker nodes. We don't really have to install anything on here other than 
loading the hauler store and um, uh, yeah, loading the store and then serving out the files. Okay, this is going to take another minute or two. I'm going to go ahead and pause again. I'll be back in a minute. Great, we're back. So now it's completed. And again, it's set up hauler. It's served out hauler as a registry and a file server. It's updated the kernel settings on the node. It's installed the base packages, installed RK82 as RPMs, waited for the cluster to come active and installed Helm. So what we can do now is I'm going to go ahead and source the bash RC and I can do a kubectl get node, make sure it's active. I can do get pod dash a, make sure it's also active. Everything's up and running. A couple things to note here. Um, it does on the host store, uh, serve out over two ports, port 80, 80 is the file server. And let's go ahead and get the IP, IP a, and there we can see that. So what we can, I can show you that we can go to the IP colon 80, 80, and this shows out a file server. Okay. So that's kind of important to know. And then also the port 5,000 is a registry server for the containers. What I want to also kind of point out um, in this file server is I have this hauler index.txt. So this is a list of everything that got pulled over. So this is a great way to kind of validate what versions you have. Is it a file? Is it a chart? What images are there? And also the platform. Now, one of the interesting things is that hauler has the ability to say AMD64, ARM, uh, Mac OS, whatever you're looking for specifically. So you don't have to pull all the images for all the different operating systems out there, architectures out there. You, it's a way to kind of narrow it down into exactly what you need. Okay, so we've got that there. And also keep in mind that the RPMs are there. We've got a YAML. We've got the Helm charts as backup just in case we need it. Um, relatively easy to, to use. Actually, we do need those charts for uh, the OCI Helm install. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, great. So we have the worker up and running. And if you notice the command that came out, just copy and paste this. What this is going to do is this is going to curl the file server for the script. And then, oh, I got to change that. See where it says dot slash. That's not going to work. So let me go ahead and this will be fixed in the final version. But if we do that, we need to just remove that dot slash and that's easy. That's an easy fix. I'll get that fixed before this video goes live. Uh, we'll go ahead and submit that and then submit that. Whoop, don't copy the right, just the curl. Cool. Okay, so all it's really doing is it's pulling down the script, it's curl piping bash the script, which is updating the kernel settings, updating the base images. I do have a yum repo upstream that's available to all these servers that is important. That is one of the re re requisites. We are not shipping over Rocky rel images, CentOS images, because that's just crazy. Uh, again, those two are coming up. And what we can see is in a short second, we can do get node. Yeah, they haven't connected yet. So they're doing their install base. And that'll take a second for that to happen. Okay, while that's happening, I'm going to kind of move ahead. Um, we've deployed the workers. Here's what it looks like. Okay, install base packages, worker node running. It doesn't, it really doesn't take very long. We can actually start thinking about Rancher. Okay. Yep, two's done. In fact, I can close this out. I don't need that open and three will finish up shortly. And just to keep me honest, there's two coming online and three will come on in a second. Okay. What we can do now, let's start thinking about Rancher. So Rancher, the, the script does have a lot of these things figured out. We are going to use Helm and we're going to point to, it's automatically going to pull the chart from the registry server using the OCI artifact. It makes it really easy. I don't have to download and install anything. If I want to set up a separate hauler server on my network and have multiple of these clusters, relatively easy to do. Okay, all I'm going to do is do uh, hauler all the things rancher. Now, kind of point something out in the script. Let me go back up here to the script itself. Um, in line 13, I remember this. In line 13, it says there's a domain name. I've got it set to awesome.sauce right now. Obviously, that's not going to be appropriate for your network. Go ahead and change that. Change it to whatever domain you need. That's basically it. Uh, that's the only real caveat. It's the only thing you have to change in this script at all. Because before in the past, I had to change a few things. This is much simpler. And by the way, the script will only pull the latest. So if you have to go, you can go and pin versions. The script is not intended for that. This is just for POCs. Oh, I forgot to give you the disclaimer. Uh, disclaimer, this is not meant for production. This is only uh, a, a POC type install. If you have an issue, open a GitHub issue. Cool, there you go. 
um, your mileage may vary effectively. Okay, so you can see our output. It actually runs two Helm charts. It runs one for Cert Manager, and then it runs one for, uh, yeah, there's Cert Manager. It runs one for Cert Manager, and then runs one for Rancher itself. We can come back here and do kubectl get pod, and we can see that we have a bunch of running, and cattle system is coming up, so we have Cert Manager running already. Great. kubectl get ingress. You can see that we already have Rancher up and running, listening for awesome.sauce, rancher.awesome.sauce. Cool. Um, and again, we can check. There's some checks in here. Let's go ahead and deploy Longhorn. Same kind of thing, right? The script go ahead and uses the OCI with Helm, automatically adds in and kicks off the Helm install. Pretty simple. Um, if you want, by the way, in each each one of these functions, each one of these uh, applications in the in the readme, you can go straight to the function. And this will show you exactly what it's doing. Helm upgrade, da 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 with a whole bunch of settings set. Okay, let's go ahead and deploy new vector, new vector. Same kind of thing, right? The script takes care of it. It's just doing a home install. Um, there's a bonus Flask application, and then there's this validate function. Um, you, actually, I got to update that as well. Update it, but basically, if you do hauler underscore all the things validate, it'll actually run that and show you where all the images are. Okay. You can see there's a few index.docker. That's actually, there's a registry XAML in there that tricks it out. You can see we're able to specifically call out, um, but all of these images were pulled directly from uh, the local registry server that was provided by Hauler. So it's a really cool way to kind of bootstrap a cluster, bootstrap a network. Uh, if we want, we can go look at ingresses, ingress, whoop, uh, QCTO, get, Ingress dash A, and you can see we have our three running. QCTL get pod. And you can see invalid image name. Okay, I gotta fix that. That was working earlier. I must have fat fingered something. I, this will be fixed by the time I the video comes out. I hope you see, uh, hopefully you've been able to see how powerful Hauler is, right? Especially with the file server, especially with the registry server available. Um, and I hope this script uh, makes sense for you. And by the way, this does replace the last one. Uh, Hauler is a much better way of programmatically getting files and charts and images across an air gap. Uh, if you've got any, make sure you please like, share, subscribe. And if you've got any issues, feel free to reach out to me. Oh, we're going to do smart kid, tough kid. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, open a GitHub issue, or just email me at clinico at gmail or comment on this video. Uh, check it all. Thanks a lot. Bye.